Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim. All right, when we left off, uh, we can kind of see it right behind me. We had killed a dragon on our way to be gathering some new stuff from Solstein. So, uh, or at least that's what we believe it is. And just a whole bunch of people sitting around here. Khajiits and whatnot. Uh, people from Hinesgrow over there. Uh, observing my rather fantastic blood dragon kill. It was actually rather quick, considering how <laughs> it usually is. But I guess it's because I've hit a high enough level that it's like, fuck them. <laughs> With a cactus. Alright. Let's actually start getting closer, because we were basically uh, within a hundred yards of the area <laughs> when we started fighting them. Whoa! That texture just loaded in. That took a while. Unlock. Yes, the stable, so that way I can come back to it later should I need to go to Windhelm, the fucker. The fuck? M motherfucker pulling some magic ethics over here. Well, it is kind of big. It's not huge. Oh, hey! I guess, uh, Khajiit finally got here. Although I don't remember it being a group of five. Move on, friend. I have nothing to sell today. Move on, friend. I have nothing to sell today. Okay. And I'm here and bouncing. I'm not entirely sure where that's coming from, but okay. We'll ignore that for now. We could go through the city and head to the docks that way, but I honestly don't like Windhelm that much. So we're not going to do that. We're going to go the regular route. And by regular, I mean the abnormal as fuck route. And go through the water to the docks. Yeah, I know I'm weird. Shut up. It's, it's normal, okay? <laughs> okay. I'm getting weird. Er. And there's a spot to do it, isn't there? Yeah, I could swear there was. Yeah, right here. Or I think. What the? Oh shit. I'm standing on a nice flow here, and there we go. That's how you do it. All right. Now we just talk to this guy here. If you're looking for passage to Solstein, too bad. I'm not going back there anymore. What happened? Why won't you go back? It's hard to explain. I remember those people with the masks coming on board. Then, the next thing I remember, I was here. And they were gone. And that's not right, losing whole days like that. Uh... There's been something strange going on there for a while. But after this, I'm done. I'm not going back to Solstein. Um, yes you are. You are taking me to it because those motherfuckers tried to kill me. If you've been listening to me, I'm not going back there. I listen to you, I'm just choosing to ignore it. Because your reason is stupid. Those cultists you brought here tried to kill me. You owe me, motherfucker. Alright, you have a point. Taking you back to find out who sent them is the least I can do. Besides, exactly. maybe you can put a stop to whatever's going on over there. I owe them a bit of payback myself. Alright. So now we have a plan. Bone mold armor is a type of Dunmer armor crafted out of bone and resins. Which is usually the uh, default guard armor within Solstein. Which, if I remember correctly, was a playable area in Morrowind. So this is a callback to the old Morrowind game in and of itself. I think a lot of things in here are, like, many callbacks. And by many, I mean huge. Whoa, okay. Yep, this is a cinematic part, so I have no control. Well, 
Here we are. This is Ravenrock. Can't say I'm all that glad to see it again. Yeah, it looks kind of pretty. Maybe you can figure out what's going on around here. Well, we'll find out if I'm able to do that, huh? I mean, we're pretty good detectives in and of ourselves, so... Well, we'll, we'll probably figure it out. What is with the textures today? Fucking fuckaroo. Okay, that was an auto-saving. Hey, Zorana came with me. Cool. I don't recognize you. So I'll assume this is your first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. State your intentions. Um, I didn't realize this would be an interrogation. Uh, I'm looking for Mirak. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was in the note. Do you know him? Mirak, I... I'm not sure that I do. Just okay. remember, Ravenrock is sovereign territory of House Redoran. This is Morrowind, not Skyrim. Okay. While you're here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Any questions? Uh, do you know who Merak is? I... I'm unsure. I swear I know the name, but I cannot place it. Can you tell me anything about him? I don't think so. I'm not... The, the name has something to do with the Earthstone. Okay, that's weird. Why are you so suspicious of visitors? I have to be. My second counselor, the security of Raven Rock, is my primary concern. Ah, so you're like the security person. Okay, 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 ah, right. okay. Uh, has security been an issue? This isn't exactly the city of Blacklight. We're on okay. the frontier out here. We've had more than a fair share of troubles. Ah, I see. After all we've been through together. I refuse to let Councillor Morvain down. So I assume Morvain's running the show. What What do your titles mean? Councillor Morvain is House Redoran's representative on Solstein. Okay. As second Councillor, it's my job to support him and make certain his rule is enforced. Alrighty. So Ravenrock is purely a Dunmer settlement. Ravenrock started out as an Imperial settlement. The Empire decided to abandon it. Just as my people were first setting foot here. Okay. They left the town a shambles. And when House Redoran took over, we turned it around and it became ours. And ah. even if it's been a struggle to make this island livable, we're proud to call it home. So you're doing what the Empire could not. Interesting. Okay. Sounds good. I Remember, think we're done. We are watching you. I would be a, I would be upset if you weren't. I'll let them talk their thing out. <laughs> Delayed by bad weather. You just didn't want to come here, you jackass. And this is basically the best showing of bone mold armor you could ever see here. Uh, that's the uh, unique shield cover there. Alrighty. Scathecraw. Now I have a good TV. I can actually read what the fuck that is. Huh. I'll pick a couple of them just to have them. See what they do later. A couple guards walking around. There's really no people out right now. But then again, it's like... It's like 3 o'clock in the fucking morning. Of course, no one's out. Alright. Uh, that's a thing there. But what we're supposed to be doing is heading out there to see what's all that going on. Now, uh, a lot of my spells are not going to be useful here. Because this is purely an area of fire. All of this is not snow, this is ash. So, a lot of things around here are going to have an affinity to fire, which is my element, so. Yeah, I'm going to be kind of screwed a little bit. Going to be relying on my sword a lot. Alrighty. 
This is basically <laughs> uncharted territory at this point. Or, speaking of, whoa, Ash spawn. Yep. What? I did not hit that guy once. Oh, this ass bone's still alive. Okay. Captain Veleth. I wasn't sure I'd make it off this farm alive. Are you? Wish I yeah. Could have said the same for my man here. Oh, I, I didn't even see your man. Oh, that, that's probably not good for them. What were these things? Some of the Redoran Guard have taken to calling them Ash Spawn. Ah. Me, I don't care what they're called. All I know is they're a danger to Raven Rock and they need to be stopped. How did that bring you to this old farm? I was going to search for clues that might lead me to wherever they're coming from. Ah, okay. I know it isn't the best place to start, but we know they've been coming from this direction. I could lend you a hand for a price. No, <laughs> that's Stray Cat. I, I'm just happy to be able to help. Good. I can use all the help I can get. Besides, I don't feel comfortable leaving Raven Rock behind. And I'd hate to lose any more Redoran Guard. Fair enough. Where do I begin? We were searching the farm when the Ashspawn ambushed us. Have a look around and see if you can turn up anything useful. I can do. So what are those Ashspawn? No one knows, really. Superstitious folks say they're the risen forms of those that died long ago, but I'm not so certain. They started attacking the bulwark a few weeks ago. My men were able to kill them, but they keep coming back. Hmm. How often do they attack? We've had two other assaults on the bulwark, at different spots on the wall. I know it sounds crazy, but it's almost like they're becoming more organized and probing it for weaknesses. You suspect there's a motivation to their attacks. Exactly. Something has to be directing them against us. And we need to find out who or what it is. Gotcha. Gotcha. Why do you think the attacks are from the Adias farm? I don't. All I know is that the Ash Spawn are coming from this direction. So this is as good a place to start as anywhere else. Good thing the farm's been abandoned for a long time. I'd hate to see what they would do to an unarmed farmer and his family. How long has the farm been ab abandoned? Not sure. I was told it was an old imperial farm that was wiped out by the eruption of the Red Mountain. Oh. Not certain who lived there. It was already a pile of rubble when I arrived in Raven Rock. Hmm. Report back to me if you discover anything unusual. Will do, but I'm going to see what's on these ash spawn first. Uh, well, there's something right there that, that kind of... Show something. Spawn ash. I'm going to carry that because that seems to be a alchemy ingredient and I want to find out what it is. Or chalcum or I'll carry it. Fuck it. There's that. Raven Rock Stronghold. My calls for the unconditional surrender of your forces and immediate cessation of all hostilities have has been ignored numerous times. I therefore have no choice but to assume your purpose on Solstheim is hostile and to treat Raven Rock Stronghold as an enemy of the Empire. Um, the Empire abandoned this place, didn't it? I just heard that, like, ten minutes ago. I warn you, any attempt to breach Fort Frostmoth will be met with an equal level of aggression. I will do everything in my power to wipe you and your forces off the face of Tamriel. Holy shit. There will be no further communications between us. Alrighty, someone's a little pissy. He's out of this. We'll be out of it soon enough. I do want to take the armor here. Because this is kind of cool heavy armor. And... I could sell those. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. And I'm kind of overweight now. God damn it. <sighs> Every time. I try to do something good, and then I get fucked over. Every single time. And I do need to try and upgrade quicker to ebony, so that way I can start wearing these. And these are kind of on par with steel armor, so they do kind of hold up a little bit. They're a little lighter, too. 
Hey, 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 buddy, buddy, get your ass over here, damn it, fella. Have you found something? I discovered this note on one of the ash spawns. This is strange. The note says it's from General Falk's Carius, but that's impossible. How is it impossible? Well, Carius was the Imperial Garrison Commander at Fort Frostmouth, but he died over 200 years ago when the Red Mountain leveled the place. 200 There's years no ago? There's no way he could still be alive. That sounds about right. If he's an Imperial, he has a mortal lifespan. What do you want me to do? If General Carius is still alive, there must be something keeping him that way. I yeah. need you to head out to Fort Frostmouth and check it out. I'm going to head back to Raven Rock and prepare the men for further assaults. Okay. Be careful. Sounds out of his mind. I'd say so. This must... Yes? Yeah, it's not even Skyrim, hun. <laughs> okay. Anything good? Oh, we'll find out, won't we? Uh, we're just gonna drop off a couple of the things that are weighing us down. Specifically... Well, all of these. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. There we go. That should be good. And did we pick up the sword? No, we didn't. Uh, I wanted to give you an elven sword. Modin Vela, captain of the veteran guard at your service. I'm already aware of who you are, buddy. Uh, yeah, let's talk what to you now? again and give you... This better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with. No, that was before. This is this is stuff for you. Uh, give you the sword. That's what I meant to do, not equip it. Idiot. And I'll take the dagger so you don't accidentally start using that. And yeah. There we go. Let's look at all these guys. See if there's any more we can get off of them. Seems qu like quite a bit. Holy crap. I think we'd find Quicksilver on that one. Okay. Well, now that we've started getting ourselves cemented into this place and uh, started helping them out, I think they'll trust us enough to be uh, wandering around the whole area for shits and giggles, basically. Oh, something. That's an ash hopper. And crush the bug. Yeah, it just crumbles into pieces. Ash hopper jelly, ash hopper meat, Ugh. and chitlin plate. This would be used to make the chitlin armor some people will be wearing around here. Uh, I'm no fan but of the sun. Would be better than this. Are you sure? Because this is not the greatest place to be complaining about. Anyway. I'll be keeping my sword out because so far we've been attacked multiple times. Hey! Hey! These guys are friendly. Tama root. These guys are friendly. See? These are netches. These guys are ones you would see regularly in Morrowind. So it's kind of cool that they're out here. I mean, you can kill them, but they're basically like cows. It's really no point doing that unless you really need the stuff. Alright, let's unlock this place. What the? Heartstone deposit. Hmm. This is just a big old bandit camp, I can guarantee. What the? Oh shit! Okay. Okay. Those ash projectiles are really hard. Oh, you are an ugly motherfucker. Alright. Pick all this stuff up. Pick all this stuff up. There we go. Alright. Goddamn. Filters of health. And filter of resistant magic. Bunch of plates. This must have been knocked down when I was getting hit by those uh, ash projectiles. Uh, switch the chest. Bear pelt, wolf pelt. Gold. God damn it. 
Again, I get over fucking burdened. I am still overburdened. Kraldolf's house. We're, gonna, we're just gonna see what we're dealing with here. <clears throat> I have a very strong feeling this is probably a sort of bandit hideout. I'm gonna, what is it? Yeah, we're this gonna better trade not be all the things you. you just can't be bothered with. Oh, it, it kind of is. It kind of is. Let's be honest here. Um, I mean, I know she'll wear heavy armor, but she's not skilled for that. She doesn't get scaled armor for it, so it's not really like it's worth it. Uh, it just wastes inventory space. Let's see if there's anything else I can give you that would actually be good. And get a lot of shit off my back. Not really a lot. Uh, I'll just give you the bow for now. Alright. Yep, these are bandits. Or the closest approximation for Solstein. But we're going to end the episode here for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community and we can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games for you.